Hello everyone. We will continue the topic debugging. In the previous videos, we learnt the significance of F5 and F6 keys. Now we will go for other two execution keys. F7 is for return. F8 is for continuous execution or exit. We will see the significance of these two execution keys in the debugging mode. I will go for any of the program. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint on 14 number line. What is the purpose of F7 key? Its purpose is to return. So suppose you are doing that debugging. During that debugging, you went inside so many reusable components and you lost somewhere. If you want to come back to the original position, always, always use F7 key. So whenever you will do F7, it will go back, it will go back, it will return, it will return. Then you will easily return to your original position. I'll just show you how you can use F7. Suppose I am running the program. I am giving the input to the program. I will go to desktop 3. On 14 number line, there is a function module. Suppose I am going inside the function module using F5 key. Suppose I want to return back. I want to return to my original program. So I can do F7, F7. You can see I returned back to my original program. So whenever you went inside so many things and you want to come back, do F7. So F7 will slowly, slowly take back to you the original position. So purpose of F7 is return, return. Now, what is F8? F8 is continuous execution or exit. We'll see how we can use F8 key. Suppose I will go for any of the program. I will take a program. Suppose this is the program. In this program, I am putting a breakpoint on 37 number line. I am putting a breakpoint on 56 number line. Suppose I am putting two breakpoints in the program. I want to analyze this area of the program. I want to analyze this area of the program, suppose. So I put two breakpoints. I am executing the program. I will give the input. I will go for execute. I am on desktop 3. Desktop 3. Program automatically stopped on 37 number line. Suppose I analyzed this query. I executed this query using F6 key. I analyzed this particular output. I analyzed. Now, suppose now I want to stop directly onto the 56 number line because I want to analyze this area now. So you have a breakpoint on 56 number line. How? How you can directly jump? How the control will directly come onto 56 number line? That is with the help of F8 key. Because what is F8? 
इट इज कंटिन्यूअस एग्जीक्यूशन इट इज कंटिन्यूअस एग्जीक्यूशन सपोज आई एम पुटिंग वन मोर ब्रेक पॉइंट ऑन फिफ्टी टू नंबर लाइन सपोज आई एम पुटिंग वन मोर ब्रेक पॉइंट सपोज फ्रॉम हेयर आई डायरेक्टली वॉन्ट टू गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन I want to do the continuous execution. I will simply do F8. You can see I stopped on fifty-two number line. Suppose I analyze this area. Now I want to stop the program on fifty-six number line. So on fifty-six number line there is a break point. So whenever I will do F8. program will stop on 56 number line so you are going for continuous execution you are putting the break points and you are moving to those statements using f8 key now after that you have you seen there is no break point in the program there is no break point in the program it means the program will not stop and i will automatically exit from the debugging mode and the output will come and you can see the output is there so what is f8 f8 is continuous execution or exit you can put the break point on the areas which you want to analyze from one position to another position you can directly do f8 and the program will stop on the next break point suppose you want to go for analyzing the another area put the break point program will stop there after that if there is no other break point you will simply exit from the debugging mode so whenever you want to exit also from the debugging mode do f8 so we learned the four execution keys in detail f5 step by step f6 line by line f7 return f8 is used for continuous execution or exit the rest part will continue in the next videos thank you